Hello, I'm Sound Guy Stu, and this is Let's Add Sound. And today we're going to add in some hint dialogue, which sounds like this. It's locked. Easy. Something's missing. Damn, the cave is flooded. I'll need to find a way through. All right, let's get started. Okay, so once again, a little bit of folder organizing. We're going to make a new folder and I'm just gonna call this dialogue just to keep all the dialogue together. Uh, so dialogue VO. And then I also want to make another folder in this folder called Dialogue Hints. And if I go to the audio bin and make a new folder dialogue hints. So, I'm just going to bring in the audio for that one. So I've recorded a few different versions of the hint dialogue just to add some variation. Uh, so we've got bridges, uh, the cave is flooded, the door is locked, I think that's us. Oh no, something's missing. And I need a passcode. Now really, because these hints occur as a one-off, you would only really need one or two versions. But I just like a bit of variation as an example. So what I will do is go to dialogue hints and make a new event. And we'll just call this door locked. Got to assign it to uh, dialogue voiceover. Okay, so we'll find all of our doors locked. Bring those in. Uh, it's locked. Uh, it's locked. It's locked. The door is locked. <laughs> the door is locked. Okay, I feel like the the character maybe wouldn't mention the door. I know it's hint dialogue, but it just seems a bit too on the nose. So let's maybe get rid of those ones. The door is locked. <laughs> the door is locked. And we'll just keep the it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. And if we go to the mixer and just pop that through uh, dialogue sound effects bus so that it gets affected by reverb and snapshots. It's locked. Okay, so I also want the sound of her trying to open the door, which will be a one-shot sound effect. Uh, which I don't have there, so let's open up the audio bin, pop into one-shots, and bring in the sound of the door. So, one-shot sounds. Should have in here. Here we go. Foley door locked one. Pop that in the one shots. Create a new event. 2D event. 
door try. And I'm just going to assign this to the one shots. Fantastic. Uh, and just while I'm here as well, I will also add a hint for the cave being flooded. And we can try that one. So 2D event. Cave flooded. Assigned to bank. Dialog. VO. And bring up the audio bin again. Now this is a two-parter, so at first she notices the cave's flooded, which is a multi-sound, and then we need to find a way through, or I need to find a way through. And by putting these as multi-sounds, it means every time she says it, it'll be slightly different. The cave is flooded. I'll need to find a way through. The cave is flooded. I'll need to find a way through. And that just adds a bit of variation as well. So if we pop over again to the mixer window. So the sound effect of the door being opened or being tried to be opened. We'll pop that into uh, Foley. And the dialogue for the cave flooded it goes into dialogue sound effects. And that just means that if we so if we play the Cave 2 snapshot, go back over to the event editor, play the sound. Damn, the cave is flooded. I'll need to find a way to get through. You can see the reverb's effect in the sound there. So, if we save, build, and it'll take a little longer this time because it's got more sounds in it. And then head over. All right, so if I open up the level blueprint and find the section where you pump house door, here we go. So basically you'll walk into the trigger box and that at the moment is triggering a um, widget that displays the message, the door is locked. But I want this to be a hint from the player's dialogue. So if we just delete that And also this remove from parent. Just close that. So when I go in and attempt to open the door, it uses the pickup item macro from earlier, but it changes the animation slightly so it's she's reaching in front instead of reaching down to pick up. So from this, what I want to do is play event attached. And this will be the sound of the door being tried. So door try. And if we go back into the map, just find the door. Just make sure pump house door selected. Come back into the blueprint here and we can do create a reference to pump house door. And then search for the root component and attach that to the sound. So when it when she tries the door, the door rattling sound will actually come from the door. And then we want another place. So, oh well, each time we try the door, we want the door to rattle, but we only want the hint dialog to play once, so it doesn't become too repetitive. So what I'm going to do is have a do once. And then have a play event 2D. And this can be the door is locked. Compile and save.
All right, we'll just walk over there and give it a go. It's locked. There we go. Perfect. So if I now go back over into the blueprint and we can do the same for the uh, cave flooded. So again, when you walk into the trigger box, it shows a message saying the cave is flooded, but we can just get rid of that and that one. And we'll just, again, pull out from the overlap, go with do once. And then play sound event, play event 2D. Oops. Cave. Cave is flooded. And that'll just do that the first time you go around and then afterwards it won't trigger again. So we don't really need this, but I'll leave it there just in case we need it later on. So we'll save that. And let's just give it a go. The cave is flooded. I'll need to find a way to get through. And then if I come back, nothing. Because we've already established it, we don't need to keep harping on about it. Now I also want to add in some hint dialogue for the wobbly bridge section. So if I add a new event, we'll call it bridge hint. Assign to voiceover and open up the audio bin dialogue. Oh, it's the wrong one. Dialogue, dialogue hints, bridge. All of these multi sound. Here we go. Whoa. It won't hold much weight. It won't hold much weight. This isn't stable. Easy. Okay, so, uh, oh, don't forget to add it to the right bus. So you want to go in dialogue sound effects. Save and build. So if I go over to Unreal, this is the trigger box here. If we right click and jump to the event in the blueprint. Uh, and once again, I already had a sound, uh, but it was an F mod sound just as a tester. So you can see here, when you walk on, to the bridge. It'll slow the character down and change the animation to a creeping animation. And it'll also check if the wolf is walking over the bridge because the wolf will trigger it to collapse, but the player doesn't. So if it casts to the wolf and finds that it's not the wolf that's triggered it, it's actually the character or anything else, that's a failed cast, so then it'll play this sound. Uh, and unfortunately that's an F mod sound. So what I need to do is change that. Uh, oh no, sorry, it's an Unreal sound, but I need to change it to an F mod sound. So, oops, play event, 2D, and let's bring that up there. And we want the bridge bridge hint and we can compile save and if I walk over the bridge now it should easy 
trigger that one, but every time... This isn't stable. Whoa. So obviously we don't want it to happen every time because that would just become irritating and might bring you out of the game. So if we go back into the blueprint, what we can do is just make a bit more room. We'll add a do once again. So I'm not a wolf. Play the sound once. And then if we bring out from this one a delay node, delay, and set that to, oh, I don't know, 30, 30 seconds. And then set that to the reset of the do once. So it'll play the event, and then it won't be able to play the event for 30 seconds. That way, if you keep running back and forward over the bridge, it won't keep playing the hint dialogue. Let's have a look. It won't hold much weight. Okay, I hope you found that useful. And if you like it, please do like it and subscribe for more content in future. And if you feel like supporting me, you can give me a tip or buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Alright, see you next time.